say you got this rap and roll movement going on real crazy. I don't know if niggas do this question at you yet. Why are you choosing to do rap and roll? Say the truth. I was vibing with some rock dudes, you know what I'm saying? They was going to make old Joe and I like to challenge myself as an artist because I feel like I'm on a certain level where I can't just do the same old thing. I want to um, switch up and see what I can make, you know what I'm saying? It's like just going into the studio and seeing what you cook up. And before you knew it, a monster started growing. It's like one track, the first track we did off the album was Raw. That, it was like, I don't know, we just started getting in the groove and it became like, like nothing like breathing, you know what I'm saying? You just started going in and it was nothing, so before you know it, I got an album that like, like a and a half, so I'm riding with it. So if this is a movement that you're playing with right now, what were you doing before this? You know, I was doing a hip-hop thing, r &B. I'm a songwriter, you know what I'm saying? So I had to rap, I was writing r &B tracks for people to sing for me. Just hip-hop and r &B, man, a little mix of everything, but I never really I never really focused on doing something different, so I wanted to test myself basically and see what I come up with, and that's what we got. Okay, yeah. What kind of artists you got on there? You got any features with some different kind of people, or is it different? As far as rap goes, it's just me, because I really wanted to on this first volume, and it probably would be more than one volume. I just wanted to put me as the main artist as far as rap goes, and just I'm introduced this new sound I got to the world by myself, you know what I'm saying, hold my own weight. But on the, um, on the other side, on the flip side, I got Franco. You know what I'm saying? Frank White, he's singing on some tracks, doing the vocals like Wanna Be. That's a fire track, y'all gonna hear. That's real crazy. Um, who else I got? Just Franco, tell you the truth. I got some background singers going in a little bit. I don't know if Vanessa is good. Um, I do um, Rocky Evans. Rocky Evans. What about your production side? What kind of team did you have to fly in for this one? Uh, mainly it was me and this dude Snipes, you know what I'm saying? That went in hard for most of the, um, the homework, for most of the album. It's me and Snipes, I got my dude playing Spice on there. He produced the, um, the outro, it's real crazy. That's why it's called Let Me Be or whatever. to round things off and summarize. What do you expect to get from this that you wasn't getting from your other movement? I don't expect nothing, I'll tell you the truth. I just expect to um, put it out there and it's for y'all to decide if you like it or not like it. If I don't like it. I wonder if people are gonna like it, they are gonna respect it. I'm sure that some of my fans are gonna be like, why you go to this on that side? It's not like I stopped doing hip hop. I just wanted to test myself as an artist and I think all, all people should do it. So that's what you basically let people know if they trying to step in a new realm or in a new movement. That's what they should do is just just go to the limit, push it to the yeah, limit. Yeah, don't do it. be different. You know, be different. Stay on the tracks on my album. You know, it's some kind of telling the story. Piece by piece, a lot of the tracks. It's just there to be different. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go to the norm. Whatever you're doing, you're going to be right and left. You're afraid of that. You know what I'm saying? When you rap and roll movement and the circulation out there. So you're seeing right. this right now, that means it must be right at the, right at the bridge coming out, screwing over, so I mean, by the end of March, you're definitely going to have it. I said, by the end of March, I'll say, I can't really give you a certain date, but I know you will be out there. Just do that, you won't see it. Fair, see it. and it'll be out where? Where can we go find it? Where would it be? Hit me up on MySpace. Hit me up. I got my contacts on there. My phone number's going to be on the page. Um, my email. Hit me up on there and I'll let you know where to find it online. All that, you know what I'm saying? You get at me, I'm going to holler back. That's all I can really say. So just hit me up and I'll let you know. My number's on there. I could dig it, so that's what it is.